Scorpio and Sebek. All right. Scorpio and Sebek, we back with another one, man. Um, uh, I was just sitting around thinking about something very interesting. I remember when I was in 10th grade, we, you know, in Georgia, we took a class called physical science. And I remember in the, like chapter three or four in the book, we had to, um, we, we had to learn about basically what time and space it, it, the relationship that they have. It, the whole chapter I remember was just dealing with time, space, and just things that's dealing with like, you know, phys- the physical reality essentially. And I remember in the de- different equations, it always had like a relationship between time and space. But, you know, as I've gotten older, you know, of course, because one thing that they don't mention in, in you know, a lot of stuff in school is just the, the actual reality of how a human being has to react with those same concepts that they teach you in school because it's not like it's obsolete. But but how that stuff actually applies in reality and what they don't teach you, what I realize is that time and space have a relationship, but so does time and money. Time and money have a real, real kind of strenuous relationship. And one of the main things that I realized with time and money is you have to know how to discern when to have fun and then when to focus on different shit. You know, for instance, with myself, like I told y'all in previous videos, most of my college years, I spent trying to learn how to do the game review and stuff. And I also spent learning how to try to start a business. Uh, As I mentioned in my previous videos, uh, I remember uh, right before I made this movie, Mr. Clean's Dudes, it's on my Sebek Houdini channel. I remember um, I was I I didn't have a job. And and like I said, I didn't have a job down there in Statesboro for years because down there is so much nepotism that if you don't know somebody in particular or if you don't really uh, you know h- hop on jobs right away before like the school uh, se- season starts or, or the school uh, s- uh, semester starts then you pretty much you're gonna be asked out and it was just a lot of years that went by where I wasn't able to really get on certain opportunities so during that time you know I was just pretty much like living off of my refund check you know, selling a little bit of weed here and there and really just kind of, you know, just mitigating my expenses primarily because you couldn't really get a job down there. But one thing I realized with that, the whole with, within that five year uh, span when I wasn't working was that, man, when you don't have any money, you sure certainly feel like you have a lot of time on your hands. And when you don't have when you have that time on your hands, you know, Generally, most men, one of the first things that they they revert back to doing is to try to figure out how they can do do something that they're best at, but they can naturally do it. And most things that most things that men feel like they're best at is sex. So you know, a lot of guys like a lot of y'all have to be very careful out here when you have a lot of time on your hands, because honestly, that's how a lot of these crazy relationships get started. That's how a lot of these, you know, um, unwanted children be, or end up being born, and then that's how your financial situation just basically gets whole it just gets crumpled and the whole thing is just gets shipwrecked and and that's that's because of time but on the polar opposite when you have a lot of money i'm not gonna go too much about that my situation but when you have a lot of money let me just tell you this you start to really realize that you don't you start to kind of feel like you have a lot of time but you don't have that much time to do stuff because when you have money you know, in, in, in the back of your head, you could think of a million things that you could do in a 24 hour day, but it's only so much, th- you know, stuff you could do. But one thing that money can, can, can mess you up and make you think is that you can spend it on, on all these different things and get all these glorifications and that it's going to really fulfill you. But it's always going to be something else that you're going to be looking to try to do better because you got money. And and I'm telling you, a lot of that can destroy you and it can lead you to not have any money in the long run because you're not going to have a system that's creating money to come back. And that's what you have to do when, you know, when you when you have money or time on your a lot of money and time on your hands is you have to create that system that I talked about in previous videos. That's going to allow you to keep doing whatever it is that you're doing. If you don't have it, then you really don't have time. Honestly, you don't really have time to have fun. And I was just thinking, like, you know, money and time has a very, very particular relationship. Um, Like I say, in those years of me not working, I, I spent a lot of those years trying to just figure out different business ventures. And I remember one um one day it was in July. It was around this time, 2014. And I remember I was um my, my roommate had just moved out of his room. And, and uh, I remember like they sent cleaning contractors to go in there and clean them and i remember it was this lady that was from panama 
And she came there and I remember I was just sitting there talking to her, you know, about different little stuff. And I just asked her, you know, about like, how did she get into that, that cleaning thing? Because I just thought, man, it seemed kind of easy for her to just go clean the little unit and get paid and leave. And then she told me she was working for a staffing agency. And it was and I remember it was a guy that was supervising her. He came. He had to basically do the little final checkup and she couldn't really leave until it was his final decision. She was basically, um, you know, like a W-9 employee up under this this, uh, this staffing agency. But nevertheless, I saw the structure that, man, all she had to do was just go in here, clean the unit and get out of here. And she's paid. And I would have never thought that three years later. When I would, when I left my second job, when I realized that it was just, I couldn't do it anymore, that I was going to remember when I saw her in there doing that. And I thought to myself, like, you know, I could probably do the same thing she's doing, except that I'm doing it by myself and I don't have anybody supervising me. It's just a direct relationship between me and that apartment complex. And then that's when, you know, the business started. But honestly, a lot of that, a lot of those ideas manifested from just the times when I was sitting around not working. And I was trying to figure out, like, how am I going to generate some income? What am I going to do exactly? What can I do that somebody else don't want to do or either can't do? And I can provide for that service for them that allow me to bring bring in some money consistently. And a lot of times, you know, in in fact, most of the times it's going to take years for you to figure that stuff out. Honestly, man, uh, I think I could have gotten into the cleaning business a lot sooner. Honestly, I wish I had gotten into it as soon as I left high school. I would have, I would have been in, in, I'd probably would be a millionaire by now. But, uh, but, but, but I, I figured it out just after years of just trying to work a job and realizing that I couldn't really get the kind of resources I needed from that. And it really wasn't providing me the type of freedom that I wanted because I feel like at the end of the day, I value my time much, much more than I do the money. When you start valuing your time, you start to realize like money, really isn't hard to get. In fact, I've I've turned down a lot of opportunities this year to where I could have gotten a lot of different uh, sources of income because I realized if I do accept this, then it's going to evaporate my time. And then that way I won't be able to make videos like this. I won't be able to work on my game reviews. I won't be able to work on these movies and all this other stuff that I'm trying to do. It's like you have to basically trade in, you know, one for the two. And, you know, um, honestly, when you're young, you have to sacrifice your, your, your time um, we're, we're having fun to to get money because when you get older, I'm I'm realizing even now I don't I, I'm already starting to sense it, but I definitely know when I get older, I certainly don't want to be out here trying to you know be going from A to B trying to figure situation to situation out, hustling, still trying to bring in income. And by by the time I get in my thirties, I'm trying to be relaxed. I mean it's it's that. It, it, it's to that it's to that point with me. I just I want I have a crosswire attitude that bad. So by the time I'm at least thirty five, I don't need to be getting up having to worry about doing anything. And uh, and, and you know, and it may be this soon. It may be sooner. It may be later. Who knows? But but that's my goal at least to have that accomplished by then. You know, because you know, I mean, basically because of what I've already started thus far. It's like if I can't have it by then, then I'm doing something wrong. And either I'm spending my money the wrong way or I'm investing in the wrong thing or it will be something that's allowing my gratification to to, to be uh, higher than my, my freedom, basically. And um, you got to value you got to value your time over your money because, you know, when, when you're in this odyssey, I mean, this this, you know, this, this whole thing, it really is. It's a it's a marathon. It's not a race. And, and throughout this whole process, like, you know, it's like the tortoise in the hare. You could be running slow the whole time and, you know, the the, tor- the hair could run laps around you, but he could see some fine, you know, some some fine female hairs that's on the sideline and he could be sitting around trying to talk to them and stuff for the next 30 laps. And you don't run, you know, don't walk past him. Next, you know, he didn't even realize it. And by the time he catch up with you, you already at the finish line. You already got the check. You in the mansion. And, you know, and he's in normal life. And honestly, that's what's going on right now. It's like. We can't really say too much about like, you know, this this government. I mean, these people, they, they got us messed up because we did lose our jobs and things in that nature. But I mean, these these people have cut a lot of money uh, out here. They, they've, they've cut a lot of money out here. And honestly, if you guys would want to check in with me, I could give you more information on that. But, you know, they, they, they've cut a lot of money out here for people. And it's at this point. It's like if you're not taking advantage of your situation, then it really is on you when this thing turn around. 
if we all still alive that, you know, and you don't have the kind of lifestyle that you want, it honestly will be all on you then. So. But it's it's a lot of money. This this government has been all uh, been giving people and they've, you know, they 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 they're constantly doing it. They probably gonna have more stuff coming up. But, you know, it, it's it's definitely time right now for people to go on and invest in their freedom. But even with the money that they get in, it's like you could have a billion dollars in your account. If you don't really know what system to create, then it don't matter. That money eventually evaporates. So if you don't know how to utilize your time right to create the right type of system for you, then it won't even matter. So time and money have an extreme important relationship. I'm not sure if you guys remember that from physical science, if you remember that class from high school, but, you know, that science exists in reality. Believe me, and it definitely exists with your money. Stay tuned. Houdini out.